create an everyday tool that is also a beautiful piece of art. I'm Sarah, and I would consider myself an artisan and a craftsperson, and I'm a broom maker. My name is Mary, and I run this business with my sister. We both learned how to make brooms when we were young from our parents, so it's something we've been doing for a really long time. We've had this shop here on Granville Island for about seven years, and I've been running it with my sister. We both worked very different fields and careers before this. I have a background, a degree in geography, and my sister has a degree in creative writing. We wanted to return to kind of our roots and run this business together. We make brooms in the Shaker tradition, which is originally from the east coast of the United States, actually. And we use broom corn as the main base of our brooms. It's just such a durable natural fiber that it's perfect for brooms. One thing about our brooms is that it's very labor intensive to build them. They're very much handmade and it requires a lot of strength. Using this machinery, we can build a very strong broom. Uh, generally, we hear that our brooms last from anywhere between 5 to 20 years. We like working with our hands and keeping very busy, and we also like keeping an old tradition alive. It's something that's both very practical and beautiful, so it's something that we feel really good about doing. We also gather um, natural woods to use for handles, and one of our favorites is manzanita wood. We gather it from our family's property down in Arizona. And that's really great because now that our parents are retired for the most part, they, um, they've been helping us a lot with gathering the wood and also the, some of the sanding and finishing. Actually, my dad is doing the vast majority of it these days. One thing we love about manzanita wood is it's so naturally twisty and curvy and colorful. And so looking for just the right pieces and then just sanding into that natural grain and bringing it out um, it's just so naturally beautiful on its own, so we love working with it. Most of our brooms are meant for standard sweeping purposes, like sweeping your floor or sweeping around your fireplace. But we do also make some kind of unusual brooms. Uh, we have very small scrub brushes that are great for potatoes, pots, carrots, things like that. We also make a golf shoe brush. Um, my family shop where I grew up was right next to a golf course, so we had a lot of requests from people to clean their cleats, and it's a great broom for that. It actually works really well. One of the fun things about being here on Granville Island is that we get people from all over the world. We definitely get a lot of Harry Potter fans looking for the perfect flying broom. These days we don't have a lot of space often, we live in very small apartments and so with these brooms you can use them but you can also just hang it on a wall after, you don't need a broom closet to hide it away in. Broom making is such an interesting tradition. We feel very lucky to have learned this and it's definitely important to us that we keep it alive. And one day I'll pass it on to somebody.